It's an historic mission and a dream come true for a local man who grew up right here in Greater Cleveland. His work at NASA Glen on full display this evening. Brandon Simmons shares his story. After a month's long trip through outer space, the Mars Perseverance rover finally arrived at the Red Planet, successfully landing at the target location. Touch on confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars. For those who have worked on the Mars mission over the years, just getting to today was a dream come true. I'm so, so excited about this situation, being able to support something bigger than myself. Carl Sander for the second is deputy chief of NASA Glenn's Space Science Project Office. He helped design the radioisotope power system that could run the rover for up to 14 years and also oversees a team designing special tires for the rover sample return mission to come. But prior to NASA, he was a student in Maple Heights with big dreams. The teachers and the staff, the administration in Maple Heights was just amazing throughout my childhood. Took their arms and, and put them around me and, and you know, encouraged me you know, to, to the utmost. Sandifer always excelled in math, eventually heading off to Bowling Green State University for a degree in applied mathematics, also landing a co-op position with NASA. I would say even, even from a childhood standpoint, I never envisioned that I'd be working for NASA. And since becoming an employee at NASA, I've always wanted to support the Mars program. He's one of few African-Americans to have this sort of opportunity, as blacks make up just 6% of NASA's science and engineering workforce. It's a role not lost on Sandifer, who works to mentor others to reach the same heights and beyond. This successful Mars mission, he says, is just a stepping stone for the future. I'm smiling ear to ear, and I'll be smiling, you know, for, for, for days and days and days to come. Now, as you'd expect, NASA is already looking ahead. They're already working on future plans to get samples from Mars back to Earth. And one day in the next decade, the goal is to send people there, too. Some really awesome stuff to come in the future. And, Russ, I have to point out, I, too, am a Maple Heights grad, so I know Carl personally, <laughs> and I'm really happy for him today. Well, a wonderful guy, as are you, Brandon Simmons. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.